Right, not going to be a long one today, so I'm going to move on. Fight Sherry. I don't know if you are aware, Sherry, but you are. Hey, little bitch. How are you doing today? remember what I was doing there. I'm pretty sure I was hunting for upgrades. Yes, I was, because I was in Carthus. Ah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, so I've got Press Hello. 4 to learn more about the martial art of dad mm. jokes with a token Dilf trouble base. Thank you, Sherry. Ah, okay, I won't tell anybody you gifted a sub, they'll never know. You can continue with a scammer life. Right, she's got infinite shards now. Um, Ashen one. Um, 
first time I upgrade my staff at all. That is good to see. What needs me? <laughs> um, on the gift sub thing, it just says like, uh, rather than clicking on somebody's name or something like that, it does have an option for just gift X amount of subs, and then it will assign it around. So you can just gift one. I don't think I can get any upgrades. Um, no, nothing from Grey. Uh, what about you, Wizard Man? I'll turn it down a little bit. There. That's nothing. I should really get it set up properly for uh, switching between games. Have a look. Repair, hidden weapon, hidden body. I'm not going to use Twisted Wall at all. Spook, no. Heavy sword arrow. Great power and dart. Great sword. Right, I might get hidden body at some point. Come again. But for now, I will save the cash. How much is the key you? Ah, how many? Twenty k. I need Ashen another nine k. Let's head back to Carthus and concentrate. Ba -ba. We don't want to go to that one. We want to go to this one. I skipped over a couple of bits to get to the bonfire, so. Cause I, or can I just go to that one and backtrack? Let's have a look. I really like nuts. Someone is going to clip it. It's true. I'm gonna add some more of those soon. It's just I've got to do the uh, green screen on it myself, and it takes ages. <laughs> yeah, I'm slowly learning my way around video editing properly and learning my way around Photoshop and stuff. I say Photoshop. I've been using GIMP instead of Photoshop. Oh yeah, I got the bone dust from there, didn't I? Burn that now. Well, I'm going to burn it Shrine, bugger it, we'll do it later. Oh, that's gonna be a big ball. So you go down that way, you go downhill. Meaning, I go this way. Anything here? No, right. Um, what do we have over here? Ooh. Oh, two of them. He's dead. Didn't realise the second one was there. Didn't realise it was that close. Hi, Brendan. How are you doing today? I need to play with that one a bit. Fix the hair on it. Cool. So uh, great heavy. You Look at your friend as well. Right. Right, so 
sword fight too then. Um, I've streamed a bit, but I did Mario and that was about it. And I dicked around a bit. Right, this is where I wanted to be. Because I missed a couple of times. Oop! Got another one, right. The other one that respawns as well. I need to be running to avoid those. And now he's going to get back up again. So. Sharks. Oh, so is this is the right direction, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm gonna have to do drop. I don't want to do drop because there's big skeletons down there. I can see you. Yeah, I can. Yeah, they can you. I knew there was something there. And flash sword does bugger all. But soul arrow, you also do bugger all. Dodgy is then. Barth is bluffing now. But. No, you can go away. Yeah, I have been making plans as well. I've had like a quiet a week because I've been. This is like the one week at work I do really long hours. Oh, that's a one shot. Bye bye. Ah! Slime. Oh, <laughs> I got a bone wheel shield. do some fire for those, but I don't think I have the fire got big rats. Alright, missed. Hidden walls around here. Unless. No. 
Um, so we've got Is there any way to trap that thing? Don't think so. What else do we have down here? Candles. Another swordsman. I know you've spotted me, I can see you. Twinkly for a start. Oh no, out of juice. Little. Did he fall? He fell through the world. And I get the gem anyway. Perfect. Right, that looks like progress. So, more exploring to do. But I am out of sips. So. Um, so we had Control of the skeleton ball, if I remember right. This thing should break now. Oh, there. It had a crab in it. And you give a dark gem. Uh, what else do we have up here? Oop. Archer. spells. I may have to resort to I can hear more footsteps. Another one down that way. I'm after resort to bashing him with my staff. Or trying to. I doubt it'll work well, but. I've got like two swings of flash sword. Maybe one. Oh! Trap! Got him with a bash. Now, what are you? Mark Arthur's Rouge. Useless. Um, staff bashing time. This isn't going to work well, but. Watch. Um, 
bon, on croit. his friend. I need large shards at the moment there. Large shards will do me nicely. Right. You get back up. Trigger this. And all of them this. Yeah, that was painful. <laughs> right, um, not being able to roll. I have to keep reminding myself not to, and a lot of the time I, f I just fail at it. fighting. Uh, oh, apparently. Thank you. And an ember. Nice. I've got plenty of tiny net shards to trade. So this time, um, there's a couple of bosses nearby. It's just getting to them. Could be. So this time we go putting a 
drop right out to the rafters, aren't they? Oh, flash sword. See? I reflexively roll and it doesn't work. Hi Alex. Right, uh we got you. These rats are taken care of. No worries, Alex, have fun. deal with the rush on those guys. Come on, come walk in this way. That's what I've been forgetting. He fell down. These guys just hand out shards like candy. Uh, you're stuck down there, so you're no problem. I just not seen this before. I didn't, I'm blind. Oop. I think you're just wandering. Means die. Oh, 
one combo on that deck of those guys. One combo. I wonder. I have a shield. Can I get away with parries? Parrying is not worth it with this shield. Just too small a window, so spell time it is then. Or just after. Yeah, I'm not too bothered about salt. I can always grind with those salts. Get him. <laughs> oh, Miyok means off. What weapon did you go with on it? I have finished the first one. And that's Regular katana. Right. First time I played near Neo, I used the Kasurigama. Ah, uh, the mini boss on the roof in the village. Yeah, I know which one you mean. Like the first, pretty much the first village you come across where it stops burning. I used Kasurigama and I discovered an, an amazing move for it. Uh, the Kasurigama has a trip. So it whirls, you know, the uh, like the weighted ball end of it. He whirls it round across the floor and basically trips up enemies. So I worked out a few really handy combos with that. I know the most OP weapon in the game is meant to be the, uh, the big two-handed axe. Apparently that's got move which is like uh, basically spin to win. And past a certain point that spin to win just destroys everything. No, I did Kasurigama and for my second weapon I had the paired katanas. 
that was a lot of fun. You're gonna get up again, get up again and start off. Fuck. There's a lot of magic in the game as well, but I must have never used it outside the odd like stuff that buffs your weapons in it. It's like there are spells and stuff in it, but the only magic I really picked up is basically stuff that um, it lets you buff your weapons with different elements. So like if I needed fire damage or something, I could use that or similar stuff. But that's about it. just to sprint this bit. Not that I really can, being fatty armoured. And it's not like it's going to run out of respawns like Dark Souls 2 either. I just have to do it. Yeah, unfortunately that's the caveat of the wizard, is fat roll is what I have. Learned, so. Ashes. That means more items and <sighs> we were a hidden wall. But that means I'm done. So I can head back upstairs. I just need to get us two. more stuff can get splatted. <laughs> Hi Manu! How are you today Manu? Right, I got some more ashes. You can go away because I don't want you. You can go away because I don't want you. Got three. I don't think three is enough for an upgrade. But we shall see. How are you doing today Manu? I am dying a lot. I keep rolling when I shouldn't, or because I'm not really suited oh, to like well taking damage. Ash I'm just dying. Uh, give you the ash. Gracious, passing fine ash. Let this ash. I only hope the. <laughs> right, what new stuff have you got? Uh, we got more embers. Infinite green blossoms now. Infinite repairs. Infinite pellets. Infinite Kukri. We got bleed, we got lightning. We got rotten. <sighs> Hi Brindam, I hope you had a good nap. Uh, no more spells. No more weapons or anything really. 
little bit more armor. Look at our rolls, we got ring. Ashen one. Do we have luck? Enough to uh, upgrade. Uh, reinforced a snow, reinforced weapon. I need one more for an upgrade. Um, Pretty. I don't want So let's burn these bones. Because I forgot to do that before. Um, and we need to go we're in catacombs. And we're going down and to the big cave looking bit. Ah, uh, no chance, Sherry. Right, there were a couple of very specific reasons why I had to be here. And once I got rid of it, it's just like, no, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I will get a fake beard for special occasions then. You can go back that way. No, it is that fucker down there. You're the one who needs to die. Stop that option. Stop that buggy. No, he's got it. Yeah, Dave has enough beard for both of us at the moment. Like, by. I get badging goes my mate Dave. I've known him for years. But yeah, once I got rid of mine, it's like, no, I'm not going back. I should have had a soul out of get squashed. Right. I wonder if I can sort of this guy. Attempt to try. No, I can't. Maybe I can, but that just costs me a fair bit. Burnt Shard and Kukri. Misery Wall. Yeah, no. So now we're going this way into the cave bit. <laughs> Connected dual monitors, so you're stuck in the infinite loop. You got a dual monitor set up now. Um, am I sufficiently sneaky to knock this guy off the cliff? Yes. Plop. Where is my plop? Don't tell me he survived that. No, he's dead. I can see him down there. Um, so, bridge. This way. Now, this bit, Sherry, you will enjoy. I guarantee you. Pop. 
apart from my the bugged out animation. We now have shortcut. Hey, how did this happen? Some of you. I need to be careful with that spell sometimes because they can actually parry it. Here we go. It begins. We have a friend up that way. We need to do. You guys not activated. You were supposed to be like a massive ambush. Be wary of an ambush try going right. Yes, I'm aware. If I go here and then drop down. obvious rickety bridge. There. Is there a bonfire here? I can never remember. No, there is the entrance to the boss room. Right. So we go this way instead. But yeah, what's supposed to happen is when you go up there, like a dozen skeletons activate on the other side and come after you. But for some reason they didn't trigger. I don't know why. Right, um, so we shall go this sneaky way instead. Where you get to see something cool. Looks demon. But you should see what we can make the demon do. Too late. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand next to that chest and make the demon hit it. And then we're going to have ourselves a royal rumble. So, this bit is literally just going to be sprint it. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! You make me sick, you big baby! Put your bully in my right. I really like nuts. This way. Someone is going to clip it. I have the shortcut marked. So, we are going to do a run. We're going to run fast. Here. I'm gonna go off this bit. And we're gonna break the bridge. Yeah, by stupid skeletons. Right, so the boss is literally just through this door. But I wanna get this demon bit stopped done first because there's useful stuff in there. Um, yeah, the bridge resets. There's a couple of bits like that. It's just the way that they're set up. Right. Now. Need to get the demon to hit this. Let's not die at the same time. His fire will launch him. Oh my gosh.
I got lucky the last the second time it just clipped me. Like Dark Souls 3 does have like a I've always called it clip damage, but I'm not sure what or chip damage, I'm not sure what the right term is for it. But if you're just outside the range of an attack, like if you're at the very edge of an attack, it doesn't do full damage to you. So like if somebody hits you with literally just the very tip of their sword when they swing, it does bugger all damage. It still damages you, but it does bugger all. Um, same with some spell effects. Some spell effects do bugger all if they, uh, if you're just on the edge of them when they go off. Right, I'm running across the bridge this time just to see. No, that triggers all of them. Look at them all, Sherry. Bye. It's going across the bridge that triggers them. So this is going to be a dash because um, it's okay for farming. Like you can see, I only got about a thousand souls for it, which isn't much. Oh, when it did drop. to run past the demon because we're going to get him in a fight again. I tried to get him to fight the mimic. That didn't work, so I'll have to fight skeleton instead. Come on, follow me down here. following I think he wiped most of them out. that was very little to him I could cheese it oh the skeletons fighting him now there we go that's what we want Skeletons. Get him. Get him. Let's win with skeletons. Don't give up. Maybe a little bit of give up. Had all the skeletons dead. Looks like it. <gasps> it's Friday, yeah. Anyway, demon is now mostly dead thanks to skeleton friends. It's a bit RNG, but they can actually win the fight. Thanks to skeleton friends, the demon is dead. Uh, can't remember whether we didn't. didn't Oi! What are you doing? You were supposed to fight the demon boy, but you didn't. enough to top out my magic now though. Nice. So here's dead skeletons. I 
I'm pretty sure he took all of them out. So it should just be a case of loot the place now. Large Titanite Shard, that's enough for my upgrade. That's what we want. Um, any of these, it's unlikely, but... I have enough to upgrade my staff again. It's down here. If we got... Because this feels like a trap. <gasps> Got a bonfire. Right. Eesh. What are you? Old Sage's blindfold and the witch's ring. Right, what does the blindfold do? Tower of Paramancy is a great swamp, particularly favoured by old sages. The large blindfold blocks out necessary light, allowing one to observe a paramancer's true essence. It just looks cool. Apart from honours, because... And the witch's ring is... Boost pyromancies. Right, we have... It's down this way. Yeah. Here. Not just yet. We're gonna go back to the other boss. Because this is one of the branching paths, so I need flash sword. I have no idea how this boss is going to go because I've never done him using any magic. I've always done this boss with physical stuff. Although this, this boss does have a really cool intro. So, up we go. Into the boss room. Proper suspicious looking boss room as well. Like all these urns and everything anywhere, everywhere. In fact, I wonder if you can actually just walk past this boss. I am tempted. See if it'll let me open the door. Nope. Doesn't even let me try. Okay, boss time. Yeah, like I said, this is my first time doing this boss with any sort of spells or anything. I usually do it melee, and he's a piece of piss melee. So, intro time. That melee usually takes, like, two, maybe three attempts. If, if it's your first time. maybe. Now, check this place out. We've got walls, we've got an item. Look carefully, I see fingers. See? Them. It's a trap. Screw you, wall man. Slap your head. Oh, it hits 
done. I'm not sure how much damage it's actually going to do. Uh, what if I saw it? Yeah, this boss has great music. Oh, it's plonked me back to this bonfire because I lit it. Uh, I wonder if it's an easier run from here. No, it's not because the bridge is up. I have to go back to the bonfire. More Jekyll. I just realised, man who is a mod, she can see the uh, activity feed for my stream. She'll be able to see what Sherry did. So okay, I won't tell her. She'll have to work it out for herself. Oh yeah, the shield I'm wearing, Sherry, is the same one from, um, same as the one in Dark Souls 1 that um, gives, you, gives you enhanced stamina regen. It's the reason I just have a random shield on my back. Here they come. Yeah, I've got that. And I got Chloranthi, because I need it at the moment. Right. To Walnir we go. Gotta remember his breath weapon. However, handily for this boss. If you die, stick your soul where he is. So there's no actual danger of going getting your souls back and we'll skin this uh, so five sword is. Uh, I wonder how much does a great solar arrow look like? What if it actually is? Anything at all? 63, yeah, fuck okay. that.
Ah, bone wheels. We will let you summon bone wheels. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to try free firing it, Anna. I wanted to see if the lock on would take it close enough to the um, the actual hit point for it, but it's not. I like aiming for his head and his chest does bugger all, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to free fire it and see what happens. This way. This way. You get splattered. <laughs> Some bosses in Dark Souls 3, like Lock on is great for, but not that one apparently. Uh, let's go on a couple. Got a nice number of them. There you go, just over a thousand. That's for about half of them, so you get about two thousand to go. Yeah, Paul with lock on is horrible. He was a really easy boss for me as well because, like, as with most Souls games, the first time I went through it, I went through with a big smashy weapon. I say most, four. Dark Souls 1 and Bloodborne. I did Big Smashy first playthrough. And Big Smashy with Paul, you can actually um, stagger him and get him in like a stagger loop. Just a little bit more. There. So I need to kind of free fire it. It's the only way to do it. But the spells have their own little bit of tracking. But it's about the only chance I'm going to get. At least I'll easily have that 20k souls when I beat him. So 
I'm going to wait an extra second or so before I break this this time. Just watch for them all. Wait until the first one's coming on and then back. Come on. Bye. There we go, I got a 1300 that time. Yeah, so Walnir's bracelets I'm going to have to free fire at and basically I don't know why I tried rolling there. It's a really bad idea. Hit the bracelet. Hit the damn bracelet. move myself a little bit closer um, I'll just have to turn the game down a little bit more wait a second what other spells do I have Um, flash sword isn't going to be any use. Uh, 
let's see if Soul Greatsword does any better. I doubt it will, but it'll be worth a try. seconds there come on almost bye bye uh, settings that's what I was going to do music so we usually have you about there but um that down a bit. Okay, let's go. I'm going to try and Soul Great Sword at this time. See if Soul Great Sword has any effect. If not, it'll be back to blind firing. <laughs> right. Come on, Walnir. a lot of magic but it works this is him summon skeletons yeah this is a quite a cool boss There we go, Soul Great Sword was a great idea. I'm just gonna get his other hand now. Get him all near. Oh no way. Right, I might start with his sword hand this time, but Soul Great Sword is definitely working. Beep 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 crap. Uh, I know what I should do. If I pick up my souls and it's anywhere near 20k, I'm gonna go back and buy the key while I've still got souls for it. But yeah, soul great sword is the way forwards. Seventy that time. Right, so I'm going to go for his sword hand first this time. 
see if I can't make it a little bit easier on myself. That way I don't have to go. He says immediately getting splattered. Breath, then got you. Top up on the sea magic. Now we have the other arm to do. Sun and skeleton friends. I need more spell juice. Deeper slap. You're supposed to miss me with that, you know. There he goes to play his sword. Got ya. And Walnir gets dragged back into the abyss. Bye. <laughs> you know that poor Shima? The trophy one there. There used to be a guy who went into Alex's chat every single stream and he would just post that equals and something else and never anything else. Like I went and had a look at his channel once and all he would host would like host all these conspiracy streamers and stuff. But it was dead weird. He would come into Alex's chat chat and just post that trophy equals something else and then leave and he did it for like months <sighs> we're on 15k oh no we're not there's the souls we're on 37k right so first of all we're gonna get that key yeah, they basically, do you know, like, instead of actually doing a stream, they just show, like, a, a looping video. And it's all the one that I saw that he was hosting was all conspiracy shit about, uh, ah. just, like, secret global organisations and all that. There we go. Key to the tower. Oh. We will upgrade staff. Ah, what needs me? <laughs> no, it's uh, uh that. It's not a conspiracy. Like Germany definitely exists. It's Bielefeld that doesn't exist. If I've even pronounced that properly. Right, 
six day more large. So we have upgraded staff. Now we need put some of the junk away. Walnir, Soul of a Demon, those two. Put them away, put them away. Put them away. We're never going to need those. Um, bone meal shield. Right, uh, so let's see what we can get from these two souls. Where's our little buddy with no legs? There you are. Aha, so. Transposition, we can get black serpents. No, we're not using dark pyromancies. Oh yeah, there's that one as well that apparently also counts for Austria. But apparently Germany and Austria just don't actually exist. They're like uh Do not be away. Like after was it World War Two? And they basically just said, yeah, after World War Two, like Germany and Austria didn't technically well, exist anymore because well. some rubbish like now. that. Uh, and we've got thirty int is what I was aiming for. Uh, I need another ten for a level up. There was one reason I wanted 30 in it, and it was this spell. Release a cloud of mist that eats away at HP. Um, storage box, because I knew I just put two souls in there. Those two. How much are you worth? Uh -huh. So, 3,000 each, uh, so I can't get enough for a level. Well so that would get me 6 well. and I need... Get me up to 11,000. Oh, it would be enough. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. Use both. That's well, enough for another level. Very well, then take... Right, we've got the 30th that I wanted for my fancy spell. Let's get... She at 21. Endurance is stamina. Your health. We'll go for health. There we go. So, now I have this ridiculous spell. Now, this spell is weird, because it does not scale off int or anything else. You cast it, you create that, which also damages you. Does not do much to you. Does a shit ton to bosses, because it is percentage based damage. So you see how quickly it damaged me then. How quickly it reduced my life, it's going to do the same to bosses now. So we're going to swap spells around a little bit. We're going to keep hold of Pestilent Mist uh, for when we get to bosses. Until then, we've got Great, we've got Heavy, and we've got not so great sword, but Farron Flash Sword. Uh, we should go and talk to. I'm sure I picked up a pyromancy term as well, was it? Grave Warden and Carthus. Go and talk to our pyromancer friend. Yeah, the point is the Third Reich never surrendered, and only the Wehrmacht, and the, uh, therefore the German Republic is only a puppet state, but actually a state and institution, you know, yada yada yada. Yeah, it's all like far right, like, um, fascist stuff isn't it they're basically saying oh yeah uh, like, 
the Third Reich never surrendered, so they're technically still in charge, and we're the new Third Reich, so we should be in charge. It's all that rubbish, isn't it? Right, let's give this guy some books to read. Lion, please. <laughs> Here you go. I've well, got this. Well, I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tome is from the catacombs. Yes, it is. That's where I've just been. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. <laughs> And then I'm afraid I this cannot one. accept this. This pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself, let alone teach it to you. So he's our pyromancy this teacher, and he says he doesn't understand. In the great swamp, and nearly everywhere else too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this so yeah he's basically saying uh, it's a pyromancy tone but I don't understand it what is a teacher without <laughs> yeah all that sovereign state rubbish again Oh, he land in one piece. But we've had to deal with them a couple of times at work. Because what they do is they... This place. Like a company I work for offers credit. So they'll max out their credit, not pay any of it back and say, Oh, your rules don't apply to me because I'm a sovereign citizen and you're not in charge of anything that happens to me. And then they just end up going to debt collectors and having all their stuff taken away anyway. Uh, where are you at? You're usually not. Yeah, he's a. Uh, we've been left a present. Hawkwood shield. Oh, yeah, we're embered again now, aren't we? Oh, yeah, it is. It's a pain. I hate them. Like, there's a, a specific process we have to follow to deal with complaints. Like, laid down by the government and regulatory bodies and everything like that. So it's all to make sure stuff is fair. But there are people that, like, massively take advantage of things. And people like that are the biggest pain. Especially the sovereign citizen ones, because literally all we can do is say, no this is what the law says and they'll just go no the law doesn't apply to me and it all it does is ends up costing us like time and money and sanity right uh we have the key for this now so i'm going to explore around this and i will probably end the stream there as i said it, it wasn't going to be a long one i've got stuff i need to do but we shall get some cool stuff from the tower. So, uh, first of all, we're going to head to the other side of this. And up here. Yeah, it's uh, me and Beth both used to work complaints at the company we both work at at the moment. And like literally some people you, you would tear your hair out trying to deal with. Like it gets really stressful for for people as well. Like you're on a time limit to deal with these things. Like you've got all these rules you've got to follow according to guidelines and regulations. And then these people just go, no, 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 no. I'm going to be a dick. Um, so up here, top of the tower, we have Firekeeper Soul. And this gives us 
quite a cool description. Soul of a firekeeper who returned from the abyss. So soul of a firekeeper who is said to have returned from the abyss. This firekeeper preserves the bond. <coughs> Sorry. This firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil which has tainted her soul. And yet her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another firekeeper. So yeah, um, one of the firekeepers went into the abyss and came back. And we now have our soul. So we're going to go and hand it to our, our friend down there, who is also a firekeeper. But first, we're going to do a bit of exploring. <laughs> it's written into the constitution of the Republic of Brindistan. Sounds like a great argument. Well, uh... Now, how did I land on this? Was it just run off or was it jump? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was just run. It's just... Run. Nope, I slipped off. I don't think he will, but it's worth a try anyway. Back we go. I only lost 400 souls and my ember, but bugger it, we'll, bugger it, we'll end up with dozens and dozens of embers by the end of the game, so it's fine. We're just going after the items for now. Come on, let me through. Stop loading. So the only annoying thing about the shrine in this game is the fog walls that appear. For it to load the outside. Just marry into the Norwegian royal family. Worth a try. It's the worst thing that could happen is you end up royalty. Right, um, so. Let's try this one. Nope. It edges off, so yeah, it's definitely a jump. I've just got to actually make the jump. <laughs> I might die a few times doing this. But it's all in the name of loot. I'm not even sure what that is, I can't remember. I just want it. No, it's, it's on all of them. It's the way this area is set up. Um, this outside part is a separate zone to actually inside Firelink Shrine. So when you spawn at this bonfire, you immediately load into Shrine. And the Shrine loads up, and then the area outside loads up. Like, for me, it's pretty fast because I'm on an Xbox One X and I've got the game on a, an SSD which is quite a fast one as well. I specifically got a fast SSD for the loading times and stuff but yeah if you're on like a PS4 or a 360 right jump like it's just gonna look or a PS4 or a 360 like it's gonna load a lot slower like unless you get it on an SSD or something now nah, unfortunately my PC is not good enough to uh, stream and play a game like this at the same time like it's it's got older specs on it like it's uh I've got a 1050 Ti, which is a decent graphics card, but everything else is like a gen behind. It will be my next big upgrade. I have a PS5, I've got a One X, which will last me quite a while. Because there's no real Series X exclusives yet. Um, so I've got a PS5, I've got a One X. Next big upgrades I am saving up for is 
upgrades for my PC, but that's all dependent upon graphics cards being available. Um, I have played a bit of it. I wanted to save my first proper playthrough for actually doing on stream. So I've been into the, like, around the starting area and around the first actual zone. But yeah, it feels brilliant on PS5 because it's um, the controller has the haptic feedback on it, which is amazing in some games. Like I've played uh, the the free game you get with the PS5 Astro's Playroom, like shows off all those functions, and you get proper feedback depending upon how far you you pull in, like L2 and R2 and all that. It's amazing. And it's the same with hitting stuff in demons. Um, how the fuck am I supposed to land on this thing without dying? Right, I don't seem to be able to land on that one. Maybe if I try and coin or trap it, that usually works for jumps like this. There we go. Coin or trap it. <gasps> Fire keepers. There we go. Let me drop down here and die. <laughs> oh well. Now we go around the other side. Or down the other side, I should say. Yeah, it's. I watched Alex play it. It's when Alex got his PS5, like, uh, he did a playthrough of Demon Souls, and that was a lot of fun. Like I know bits about the game, and I did play it once many years ago, back on the PlayStation. It was a friend's PlayStation, and we did like a a marathon, like overnight playthrough at his house. But I remember very little of it on the original Demon Souls. But yeah, Demon Souls will be a. It won't be like a. A blind playthrough because like I said I've watched Alex play it but yeah bugger that it's only like 400 souls but I've watched Alex play it but it'll be my first time actually playing it myself uh, oh. this way and then this way and then down this bit there we go and we have the Estus Ring. What's that one do? Estus Ring. Oh, we got the Blood Ring, didn't we? Boost rolling invincibility at the cost of defence. Hmm. And then we've got... Increases HP restored. So this ring... Is basically an adaptability ring. It's a Dark Souls 2, it gives you Dark Souls 2 ab adaptability boost. Um, I won't be using it on this, but it is a cool ring. Yeah, D Demon Souls, from what I see, is quite easily like the absolute meanest of the entire series. Like, the sheer distance, but like it has a lot of shortcuts, but like the sheer distance, you have to go for some stuff. So, we've been up the tower now to explore the roof for more stuff. Yeah, like uh, Demon Souls, I, I know Demon Souls basically when it came out, like bugger all people played it. I know my friend only got it because he uh, he bought his PlayStation second hand and the guy gave it him with it. Otherwise he'd have never looked at that game because he's like a big FPS person. Like, K 
kill zone is like his favourite game of all time. But yeah, it's uh, I think yeah, Demon Souls was like pretty much bugger all people played. It was. Are there shiny bugs down here? Let's kick this ladder down. I think I scared them off running over the bridge. Oh, there's one. Maybe. Give me loot. Twinkling. Any more for any more? <gasps> Hi, Maeve! <laughs> yeah, I never had a PS3. I had a PS2. Um, but no, I never had a PS3. I never got to get one. I am doing well, Maeve. I'm uh, dying a lot in this game due to the the handy restrictions that have been put on my build, but I'm still having fun. I'm enjoying it. How are you doing? Enjoying working and stuff? But are you still back at your dad's at the moment? what else I can get up here there is a shard up here for uh, more Estus pickle pea and pomperum and then we have secret door With a ring that will come in handy later. Because. Yeah, Silver Serpent Ring. Now, can I make this jump? I usually die on this jump. Oh. I did okay. Yeah, I, I had the PS1. That was our first ever console that was actually ours as well. Is what needs. Uh, had a PS2, which was mine. And then... Had a... Didn't have any consoles then until I bought myself a 360 after I left uni. Yeah, I had a PS1, PS2, they were the only ones that we ever had. Um, I got bought a Nintendo 64 as an 18th birthday present by some of my friends. Uh, my mate Dave who is uh, in the Discord to stuff as Haggard by Jingo. Uh, one of our mates, Steve, and one of our mates, Rob, all three of them got together, found a Nintendo 64 and some controllers and stuff for it, and refurbed it for me. That was my 18th birthday present. I still have that somewhere. It's at Dave's at the moment, I think. It's like I've got everything up here. Um... I had my PlayStation 1, which we had a shit ton of games for. Same for the PlayStation 2. And then nothing until after I left uni. So I left uni, got a job, did a shit ton of overtime up to my first paycheck. And my first paycheck, I bought myself a 360. Right, uh, we are stopped up. 
Um, there's one thing I want to try before we finish the stream. I just want to see how well Pestilent Mist does against our friend the uh, Crystal Sage. Because Pestilent Mist is percentage based damage. Like, does not go off my int, does not go off any of my other stats, does not go off the staff itself that casts it. You cast it with pretty much anything. It just does a percentage of the boss's HP every tick. So I want to try and cast it, cast it on him and see what it does. Ignore all these fuckers. a decent amount as long as he stays in it. Like you saw how quickly it took down his health then. I think that spell will be my new boss killer. Let me cast that and try and kite the boss into it. And give it one more try just for the hell of it. See how much damage I can get on him. Yeah, I do plan on getting a Series X at some point, but seeing as I have a 1X, which is really good, but I was surprised in the difference between Xbox X uh, and the 1X. Well, Xbox One and the Xbox One X, I should say. I was surprised at how big the difference is between them. Right, you have this. Uh, yeah, it chunks through his head. <laughs> yeah, Crystal Sage is going down next stream. He will be next stream's goal, so uh, I shall rest here. Yeah, Xbox One, like they messed up with the Kinect, like the amount of processing power the connect took away and the fact that they tried to organize it as like a, a media console and say oh no it's gonna do everything like they messed that, that marketing up horribly but 1x was great or is great I should say anyway that is game done for now um oh yeah that's what I was gonna do I have decided what I'm doing for my anniversary stream. So, my first stream that I did, thanks to a bit of prodding and poking from Bart and Manu and Alex, was October last year. It was October 17th and I played Fall Guys of all things. So, October 17th this year, I will be streaming it again. That's going to be our anniversary stream. So I've got Fall Guys installed on my PC. I'm going to play Fall Guys. I also have this handy program installed called Crowd Control, which you might see on one of the boxes on the stream down there. So what Crowd Control does, it lets you spend channel points to mess with my game. You can reverse my controls, you can change my camera angle, you can do all sorts. So it will be October 17th, I'll put a post on the Discord about it. If you have the PC version of Fall Guys, you're welcome to join me as well as we go through. I'll be starting in the evening, so it'll be like round about 6pm UK time, like 7pm um, 
like Netherlands time. But yeah, uh, crowd control lets you do all sorts of stuff. It'll let you mess with your my camera. It'll let you mess with my controls. You can force controls as well. So you can basically you spend channel points. It will give you coins. You can use the coins to uh, mess with things through uh, crowd control. So that is the plan. Um, I'm going to dress up for it as well. Um, if I can get the day off afterwards, which I might not be able to, there'll be some drinking. And I'll probably give away a couple of prizes as well. But yeah, 17th of October will be the anniversary stream. I'll put post up and everything up about it on the Discord with all the details. So yeah, get saving your channel points, get them ready. So, yeah, that is me done for now. Yeah, it's a, unfortunately it's a Sunday. It is a Sunday that I'm working as well, which is why I'm not starting until 6. I'm going to try and get the day after day after off to do some drinking. Um, if not, I might just have to do hungover work. I will see if I can wrangle it with a boss. But, go and find somebody to raid, shall we? So, um, who's online at the moment? see who we've got. Um, yeah, bugger it. Yashia's on. Let's go and say hello to Yashia. Yeah, go for it, Maeve. Oh, sorry, but yeah, it was a, a bit of a shorter stream this time just because I'm tired and stuff. But I will radio all over to Yashia so you can go and say hello. And I'm going to go and fix the stuff that I need to fix. And make a video. Because there is a video I need to make. So keep an eye out for that on the Discord as well. So, till next time. Bye-bye.